You bring up the uh, Shannon decision by the NCAA. Was there any clarification as to the reasoning behind the decision? There wasn't. Um, Kirk, Kirk said that he was made aware of the decision, but wasn't told why. And I think reading between the lines, it's just the NCAA. And, and again, he didn't confirm this, but, but reading into it and making it pretty simple is that the NCAA needed to make an, uh, make an example of somebody. And Noah Shannon was a good enough player and a player that only had his one year of eligibility left that they could say, hey, we got him. And they didn't think about it many more than that. And he didn't bet on his own team. He, uh, I, I, We're not sure what, what sport he bet on, but he did bet on Iowa. And so I, I think the decision is – is a little, I want to find the right word. I, I, I think it's, I mean, they only took three weeks to even consider the appeal. First of all, um, whether they even considered it more than <laughs> it may have been a two minute meeting for all we know. Exactly. I, whether they and, truly considered it, they may right. have just sat on it for that long. Yeah. Exactly. And so I, I think they just decided to make an example of, of Noah Shannon. And that's that. Truthfully, I, I think it's it's that simple. It's it's classic NCAA in, in that regard where, I mean, even looking at, I think its name is, to, to go on a bit of a tangent here, Tez Walker, the situation yes. with the wide receiver from yep. North Carolina. They, this is, <laughs> that was much more of a black and white decision to me, an easy decision to grant him that eligibility. Whereas, of course, Noah Shannon knew these rules; he broke them. But to give him that full year suspension, I think is I think is unfair. Ironically, as we speak, it's being uploaded right now on our national main channel, folks. You can check out our discussion about Tez Walker with our uh, North Carolina guy. Uh, so that's uh, being uploaded right now. And North Carolina's got a date with uh, Minnesota coming up this Saturday. Six Big Ten teams are playing six ACC teams. I've been watching a football for a long time and I've never, I know I was not involved, but for two conferences to get together that many times in one week is kind of odd. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You wouldn't think of, of something like that unless it was, you know, designed on purpose, the big 10 ACC challenge, but um, yes. yeah. I'm all for it, yeah. But oh yeah. 